Hello, Rich Brom from PhoneScoop here with the Samsung Omnia for Verizon Wireless. What we have here is a fairly standard looking slab style phone, much like the iPhone, with a large touch screen, an optical mouse that lets you just sort of glide your finger across it to move around. You can also press it to select things. Send and end keys. We also have a, a power key on the top, uh, which also acts as a hold key to turn the display on and off. On the right side, we have a menu key, which lets you uh, just tap that and bring up Samsung's main menu. We have the up and down keys, as well as the camera key. Speaking of the camera, the Omnia has a 5 megapixel autofocus camera, which is very impressive for a phone this thin. It is about as thin as the iPhone, not quite as curved, but uh, in the middle just as, as thin. It also has an LED flash, and there's the speakerphone you can see as well. If we pop off the back, you can see the micro SD slot, which is unfortunately located in such a way that you have to remove the battery to get at that slot. If we snap that back on. On the left side of the Omnia, we have what looks like a button, but it's actually just a little loop to put a strap. Um, and then we have the proprietary connector port. There's no standard port like micro USB or a, a round headset connector, unfortunately. Uh, and speaking of that port, well, let's go through what comes in the box. Um, there is a stylus. You don't need it. Um, the Samsung Omnia is very finger friendly and, and we'll get into some of the ways that you don't really need a stylus, but if you prefer one, it's there. You can attach it to that little strap up here in the corner, so it's always there. It extends, which is kind of cute. So there it extends and then it shrinks again. There is, of course, the charger. There is the USB data cable, thoughtfully included. There is this adapter, which plugs into the proprietary port, gives you two more proprietary ports, it's sort of a splitter that way, to which you can connect a charger, USB data cable, TV out, or a proprietary Samsung headset. Uh, unfortunately, the full TV out cable is not included. There's also a 2.5 millimeter jack, where you can connect a standard cell phone headset. If you prefer a 3.5 jack for music headphones, that's included as well. All right, so here we are getting into the software of the Samsung Omnia for Verizon. Here you can see the default out-of-the-box home screen. Samsung has taken Windows Mobile and added a version of their TouchWiz interface, or at least the home screen part of it, and in order to give you a, a widget home screen with drag-and-drop widgets. So you can go and you can take these little widgets and drag them around. You can get rid of the boring Help and Verizon widgets. And you can add widgets like, say, event or world time. And then, of course, you can hide the dock. So then we've got our own little custom home screen with world time and with uh, our upcoming events. Uh, very easy to customize. One interesting thing is that uh, there are actually separate home screens in this setup for portrait and landscape. So if we just flip it around, the accelerometer kicks in, there's a nifty animation, and we get widgets again, but a different set of widgets. So here I've customized landscape mode to have a music widget, an FM radio widget, and a link right into the browser. And then we just flip it, and bam, it goes right back to our more business-oriented home screen with events and world time. So now if we go into main menu, which can also be accessed with this menu key, we get Samsung's special main menu, which you can swipe through. It has a top screen and a lower screen. And this has basically links to all of Samsung's special finger-friendly versions of the common Windows Mobile applications. So if we go into Touch Player, it's not a game. It's actually the media player. Um, you can see big buttons, very um, finger-friendly. Media album, same kind of thing. Um, we can touch, and, and actually I had a picture loaded up. Here's a browser, and you, we can filter down to specific media types. Um, very easy to use. Other applications like, say, the clock. Got a nice finger-friendly alarm clock, world clock, uh, stopwatch, all that sort of thing. Uh, Interestingly, right. if we go into settings, here's a good example of a more traditional Windows Mobile screen. And here we can use the optical mouse, and you can see I'm sort of just moving around by dragging my finger, and then I can navigate um, 
the menus by just lightly dragging my finger without touching the screen. Now there are two ways to use the optical mouse. It's very interesting. You can go up and you can choose four-way navigation mode where it sort of mimics a d-pad or you can choose mouse mode. Mouse mode is very interesting because then we can go out and now we have an actual mouse. See the little cursor? So now we can go down and do things that would normally require a stylus. So here we have a screen definitely not very finger friendly. I can go in, I can hit that tab quite easily, and I can hit these little check boxes that I just would not be able to, to hit with my finger. In fact, I've tried, it really <laughs> doesn't even let you. So now I can, I can manipulate these little Windows Mobile things um, using the stylus, and it doesn't interfere with using your finger. You can leave it there and still you know, launch into something using your finger. If you're not using it, you can just sort of tuck it away in the corner. So then if we go back out to the home screen, what I actually did was I changed our home screen. Was that setting I changed. So now we have a finger-friendly home screen, which is also sort of a main menu. So here you can see I've changed my home page once again. So here we have something that looks very much like a traditional Windows Mobile home screen. It's also an option in addition to the big finger-friendly stuff. Let's check out the internet. Here we have the Opera 9.5 browser. And this is the same exact finger-friendly browser that you will find on HTC devices like the Touch Diamond. So it's very easy to navigate. It has um, this little menu you can just pop to, to, to bring up. And of course you can use bookmarks, close that. It also has multiple tabs. So let's go to another open tab we had, which, surprise, surprise, is Phone Scoop. And as you can see, we have the full phone scoop site, which we can s just sort of flick to move around, double tap to zoom in, uh, and it'll automatically reformat the text so that it fits. So as you can see, the text is perfectly fitting the column. If we zoom out, you can see the text snap back to, to normal position. So that's the browser, a uh, very capable Opera browser. And it also works in landscape modes, of Switch course. The keypad to, let's say, what they call the Samsung keypad, which is the two letters per key, sure type kind of layout. And then, of course, we also have the full keyboard, um, full, full on QWERTY. So this looks a lot like the iPhone. Flip it sideways, and we get something with a lot more space. There is haptic feedback, which is very good. Uh, and it's adjustable as well. You can turn it off, soften it a little bit. Now onto the camera. Let's get something to take a picture of over there. The camera gives you all your options down the side of each screen as a, as a nice little touch control. So we can set the focus to automatically focus on faces. We can control the flash, the brightness. Um, there are scene modes, um, party and indoor, portrait, sports, all that sort of thing. Um, and then there's some very cool options like smile detection, which will wait until someone actually smiles and then automatically take the picture. It actually works surprisingly well. Continuous shooting mode. Panorama, extremely cool. So let's check out panorama mode. Press the button, start with the picture there. Now I can move in any direction and it'll just keep taking pictures as I go. Bam and it'll stitch them together. So I just took a three picture panorama in just a couple of seconds. Couldn't have been easier. Didn't have to press anything. That is the Verizon Samsung Omnia.